Walter Overcourt here, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. As always, we've been crossing over to Manchester to join Martin Logan, who's out and about with our Irish community all over the UK. This week, we have a very festive programme for you. We're coming from the town of Bal, which is situated a couple of miles from Castlebar for their annual Christmas Tractor Lights Parade. And I can tell you, it's quite a spectacle. In the second half of the programme, we're heading for Castlebar for a magical Christmas where Mayo on ice is uh, in full swing and it's wowing audiences. But first, here we are in Bal, the tractor parade is in full swing, lots of excitement, lots of families here, lots of activities, and we're gonna finish with a fireworks display as well. Starting off at six o'clock here with the kids parade. That's moving off from the back of the, 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 the surgery down there. Um, seven o'clock then the main tractor parade is on. And after that then we're going to the fireworks. Many tractors involved in the parade? Well, last year we had 61. Um, so we're, if we have 61 this year, we'll be happy. You know, that's, that's a big crowd in town. A lot of tractors to manage and traffic and that. So we're hoping for around the same. And where do a lot of them come from? They're from all over. There's lads, two young lads there from Castlebar, came out from Castlebar there. They left at three o'clock a while ago. And there's another three fellas rang there from Clamaris on the way down. There's a lad coming from Balhadreen, you know. So they're from all over the place. Like, and there's a lot of the local lads here, a lot of the local contractors are in as well. So all over. And, and what's the attraction for all these uh, mm. tractors to come in the parade like this? I don't know. Like, sure, ever, there's a bit of a child in everyone, I think, no matter what you say. Like, you know, kids, all kids love tractors. And the tractor lights is just something that came from... I don't know where it started. This is our third year doing it now, and, and uh, it's it's a bit of a craze that started off now. And like when you see the effort, um, Duffy's tractor out there now. When you see that there, there's about three weeks of work on into that out there. Like so, someone is someone is enjoying it anyhow. Yeah. And <laughs> a big family occasion for the people of the area. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it's great to see. Like the fireworks too. Like you know, after the rain's over, there'll be a load of kids out there. Like and it finishes off the evening nicely, you know. Well, look, we'll let you get back to your work and getting ready for the big parade here. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Thanks, Henry. Thank you. Well, one of the highlights of the parade here in Bal is the Polar Express. And we have the conductor and we have the driver. So we're all systems go here. This is a fantastic Polar Express. Yeah. Not too bad, Henry. Not too bad. A lot of planning goes into it. A bit of putting together again. Yeah. How long did it take you? That would have taken on and off around three, three weeks. But two, two weeks, really. An hour here and there. And, and eventually then uh, three days between pa painting and mechanic and everything else. They, it's based on the Polar Express and it, it's um, bringing kids to the North Pole. It's an old film, it was remade again. Tom Hanks played the conductor in the remake. And uh, it's magical. And it always had an effect, well, uh, personally on me. It's a lovely uh, seasonal film. So watched it last year and I said, I know what I'm going to do this year for the, this, the parade. So that's, this time last year we got the idea so it's full year in planning really henry so you're the driver you're the one that has to drive it in the parade is it difficult exactly. it's difficult enough yeah that visibility isn't that great a lot of it you have to guess where we are going you know but anyway we get, we get around we get around all right yeah yeah and i can imagine the reaction from people when they see you going past in the pole oh, so the, the, ki the kids light up yeah the kids just love it, it, it it's for the kids tonight is for the kids you know it's all about the kids really and uh, they look forward to it here in Bal now. It, it, it's a seasonal thing now. They come from they come from all over, you know, and it, it, it's it's all about uh, they say it's all about the kids, you know, and 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 probably the older kids as well. Not older kids there, <laughs> like ourselves, yeah, yeah. We're living our youth again. We're living our youth again. Yeah, yeah. We're looking to enjoy the experience, and I've no doubt it's a fantastic uh, to see it all lit up, and it's a great work on into it, and enjoy the parade. Thank, thank you very thank much, you. Henry. Thank, thank you. Enjoy thank your you. night. Thank you. Peter, you're a local businessman in town here in Bal. Uh, what does this parade mean for a place like Bal? Well, I suppose you do what you can to support your local town and it's really for the kids and, to, you know, to mark the Christmas season starting and we, we do the work in all the pubs and hotels and whatever around the area, so it's nice to give something back to your local community and town. And uh, are you a tractor fan? <laughs> Absolutely, yes, and an off-roader as well. <laughs> Uh, Mullion Brothers are a very successful business uh, here in the area and uh, picked up a couple of national awards as well. Didn't you? That's right, uh, we won uh, the Manufactured and Export Award 2017, um, the National Enterprise Awards. And how many would you have employed here? 
There's 12 in total. And then ourselves, the four brothers. Mm. All involved in the business. All involved in the business and kept flat out busy. Fantastic. Mm. Great for a small company here in, in County Mayo, and particularly in Bal as well. You must be very proud of it. It's great, yeah. It keeps us going and keeps us busy and keeps all our families fed and also a lot of the locals as well. well that's fantastic. And continued success into 2020 and beyond. And you're going to get a chance, I believe, you a couple of young people in the tractor parade today. We do indeed. Now we meet my grandson Shartley, who would be on his John Deere. <laughs> what else would you be on but a John Deere? <laughs> well, we look forward to that. Yeah, no problem. plan has gone into this mini parade. Well there has indeed yeah last year we had a main tractor run for the adults and this year we said why wouldn't we let the kids have an opportunity so we decided a couple of weeks ago at the CRD meeting to get them involved and look at the turnout it's absolutely brilliant. And, and, and fabulous tractors as well. Absolutely Santa were you very busy making all the tractors oh, the last couple busy, of Busy 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 you couldn't be busy enough but I have a lot of helpers I have a lot of elves and you know, these elves that they put up on shelves and houses, don't heed them. They're not the ones at all. I'm the one that have all the elves that be able to go around and tell everybody. And they'll be able to tell me how good the children are. And I know the children are all good. So well done to all the children and all the parents. Okay, well, well done. It's absolutely fantastic. They're ready for off now for the parade. Where do they go? They'll go straight down the main street into the square in Val. I would park up and take a picture and watch the main tractor run, which is the main event in about an hour's yeah. time. And then the fireworks at 8 o'clock. It'll bring you back to your child of this, wouldn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Well, that's not too well, long, though, Santa. Never well, not too long, Santa. Santa. Santa never left no, his childhood. No, no, no. He's there all the time. Thanks and for coming know, out and supporting us. I know us. Henry is the same way, and yeah. I know you're looking in anticipation <laughs> to me arriving on Christmas oh, Eve. How does it feel to be the only female driver in this parade this evening? It's great. I'm delighted to be here to do it tonight, this evening. And um, it's a great thing for the community. And uh, I'm looking forward to it now. Hopefully now it'll all go well. <laughs> yeah. Are, are you a bit nervous driving the tractor through the town here in the parade? I am, yeah. Very nervous. Worried about it. But hopefully it'll all go okay. Yeah. And is this the first time you've done the parade like this? Yeah, last year now I came to the parade uh, on the evening it was on. And it was a great evening. And uh, this year, I'm actually part of it, so I actually uh, <laughs> met the love of my life at it last year. So that's why that's how I ended up in the, this year. So I did. And is that how you got interested in tractors? <laughs> well, I had no choice. It's part of the, it's part of the package. <laughs> yeah. So you're all set. Right? You're off now in a couple of minutes. So yes. all set to go. And to go. You're not nervous or anything. Or? Very nervous. <laughs> but you get through it all right. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Great. Lovely. Yeah. Well, we wish you well with it. Thank you very much. And happy Christmas. Thank you. Can I ask you what you thought of the parade? I thought the parade was outstanding. I, I, I would like to compliment all the committee here involved in, 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 in the parade here in, in Bell. Uh, a lot, there's a lot of work put into something to do with, uh, in this. Uh, there's a lot of people involved. There's probably a hundred stewards here tonight. I'd like to compliment uh, the people like Donegal Martin and, and, and the rest of the committee involved. So I'd like to say well done. Well, very well done. And you? Yeah, it's credit to the community, so it is. They're a fantastic bunch here in Bell. Uh, they rise to any challenge given to them, and tonight is a prime example of it. That's yeah. a great family occasion, isn't it's it? It's a brilliant family, and it's the start of Christmas, so 
gives gives a good feel to to the start of it. So it's yeah, it's great. Okay. It's brilliant. And the nice young yet. It is. And now it's only a pup. <laughs> <laughs> Look and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. Okay. What do you think of the parade? I think it's just wonderful. It's great fun. It's great to see so many people in the community out. Something like this brings people together on a wet winter's night. It's brilliant. Great fun. And we don't care about the rain. So, yeah, we're having and, a great and, time. And your own family here as well. You have uh, some Dara, youngsters here. I have Dara and um, Ollie is here. And I have another son up the road, Alton. He's not with us at the moment, oh, but Dara's he was here friends. earlier. And yeah. all his friends. And these are neighbours and friends from school, so and we're all here tonight. And these will all be tractor fans, <laughs> will they? Well, now a lot of them have an agricultural background, so they appreciate the farm machinery and what's going on here tonight, yeah. Okay, yeah. and all looking forward to the fireworks. Oh yeah, we can't wait for that. It's going to be happening now soon, I think, straight away after this, so yes. well, yeah. We'll, we'll let you go and enjoy it. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Thanks, very thanks very much. much. Thank yeah. you. Happy thanks. Christmas Happy you. Christmas, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you'll agree, folks, that was a fantastic spectacle. And congratulations to Liam and Peter and everybody involved in organizing this magnificent event and the huge crowds that turned out from the community to watch the parade. Now, after the break, we are going ice skating in Castle Bar. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Walter Ash, very welcome back to part two of the programme. While well, we're here on the magnificent Mall in Castle Bar, as Mayo on Ice gears up for another bumper Christmas run. Three years ago, Wilson Bird was the president, I was the vice president, and Wilson came to me one day and said, I think we've got an ice skating rink for the mall. And I was going, really? Like, you know, at the time I thought, what, are you kidding me? Like, so i um, delighted in fairness. I was spearheaded by Wilson three years ago and I took over as president two years ago and I've kept it going for the last two years. It is tough to bring it. There's a lot of challenges, but it's great that it's here again this year. And it's the third year, the last two years now. How successful has it been? It's been very good. Like every year it's been getting bigger and bigger. Last year did 20,000. So our target this year is 25,000. We put the markets inside this year. We've bigger and better rides. The big ride behind us was on, in London last year. So we're great to have that here this year. I'm not going to go up with myself, Henry, but it'd be nice to see you open it later on. <laughs> yeah, I go with you, John. <laughs> For Casabar, of course, they come from all over the county and further beyond don't they for this uh, ice rink absolutely like with the support of the business and the council and leo we get great support and we use it to advertise all over connaught we on radio on all the media all over so it's about bringing people to castle bar to shop to eat to spend their money in castle bar with this as the spearhead and it's great to get people in a town is crazy busy today it's great compared to any other town actually in the west it's very unique it's the only town really in connacht that has something yeah like this. it's the biggest one in connacht to be honest and it's great some places have kind of fake ice but this is real ice and the operators of prime mcgee and kenneth do a great job it's a professional job in fairness and everything is done right and we're very lucky for a town of its size to have something like this how about here in the mall is this the best location for it well it is like there is the barracks but visually this is the best like it is it's a tricky site there's no doubt we have to put tracking down to protect it and when it goes we have to reinstate the mall but for the last two years we've done that and i think people just when they're driving into town to see it and it, it, it's just great to see at christmas you know it's in the middle of town and it gets the spend out of the, the people too for the retailers in the town how long will it run for it's uh, to the first week in january years leading up to this event which is in its third year um, we saw a decline in local business in particular where people were migrating to the Galway, Limericks, the, the Corks and Dublins doing their weekly shopping. At least this is giving us a chance to use it as an anchor to attract people into town to shop 
our own shop in particular, we, we see a, a benefit from it. Uh, the new venture that came about as a result of us having a market stall, which developed Swirl, uh, that has grown and is continuing to grow. Um, the, the likes of the crepes and the coffees are booming, obviously, this big market for that you now at the moment. But yeah, it's huge. The last two years, they've had uh, 50,000 skaters on the ice. Um, that's 50,000 people coming into town, as well as the people that come in just to, to spectate. And they're leaving their, their money in town. Um, one particular story that I, I know of last year of a family that came into the shop. Uh, they came from the north tip of Donegal, a mother and a father and the two kids. They stayed two nights in Brafey House. They came specifically to skate on the Saturday. They took in a show in the Traveller's Friend that night. The mother, while the kids were skating, went downtown and did a bit of shopping. The father went for some food. Uh, I think it was down to Mulroy's actually. He, he went to his com complimenting John on, on the, uh, the food down there. But uh, that's a, a, one example of many. And they, they've come from far and wide. Like we've people coming from Monaghan, from Cavan, from Kildare, from Wicklow, all over. It's the biggest ice skating uh, uh, venue in the Connacht province. Um, so it's a huge attraction and it benefits the town as a whole. You of course, know. the business people have put their hands in their pockets and came up with funding to help it because it's a costly operation. That's isn't right, it? that's right. The, the operator himself has invested a quarter of a million into the event. Now, he struggled this year. That's it, it was, we just about got it over the line. His insurance has increased 70%. He's hit with the increase in the VAT from 9 to 13.5%. So it's a big ask. The only reason he's come back here is because the Chamber and the people of Castlebar have got behind him last year. He was blown away by the support he got and he said, OK, let's let's give it another go. And, and he's here and we can't ask much more than that. You know, it's, it's up to the people here, the town to support it and the people in the surrounding areas of the county and the, indeed the province. Donna, congratulations on being elected to Mayo County Council. Thank you, Henry. Thank you very much. Of course, this is your patch here in town. Isn't this it? is, yeah, very close to home uh, here in Castlebar in the Mall fantastic facility now for the Christmas season for all the people of Castlebar and the surrounding areas and the county as a whole. And of course you've availed of this because you've nieces and nephews who love <laughs> I this. Have a, I have a, a nephew that absolutely loves coming here. It's magical at night now with the trees lit up in the mall and the music and all of the uh, amenities here. It's a fantastic thing to have in the town. And I want to congratulate the Chamber of Commerce for all of the work they have put in, the local businesses for sponsorship, Mayo County Council and everyone who's worked to make this a success. It's fantastic to see this in the town and it bringing approximately anything between 20 and 25,000 people to Castlebar during the Christmas season. And of course Castlebar over the last few years has kind of taken a bit of a knock and of course this has given them a great boost now hasn't it? It has given, taken a knock as have many towns but I think we really can see we're on the up again. We're a really good town for shopping and hopefully this will encourage families to come into town, eat in our bars and restaurants, shop in our local shops and you can see even this week the Connacht Telegraph in conjunction with the uh, Chamber of Commerce have launched a uh, support local shop local campaign which is really trying to bring the business back into castle bar to the shops restaurants that support our local communities it is them that support our football clubs our gaelic clubs all of our clubs and um, providing sponsorship so it's so important to spend local uh, well i couldn't let you go without asking uh, did your nephew or niece bring you up on that big he's only three my little sean so he's uh we haven't gone up on that i went up in it uh, the year before last with my husband and you know i'm looking up going will i or won't i but it's fantastic for here in the town and this area is so beautiful yeah, at night. You can see the, it's a showpiece in the town. And this time of day, you don't see it as well as when you're driving around here at night. It's very yeah. magical. It's beautiful. We're, d we're so lucky to have it here. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all our viewers and all our diaspora a very happy Christmas and every good luck in the new year. This is a fantastic facility here at Christmas in the town of Castlebar. It's great really because it makes it really Christmas. When you see the ice rink and the kids skating around, it's our childhood memories of uh, what Christmas used to be. You'd see them on Christmas cards and postcards and 
it makes it really Christmas. And it's so important for the young people, the people that are out skating there. I mean, myself and the deputy mayor are out there from time to time, but uh, we wouldn't get up the speed that some of these young people are getting up. But it's, it's great for the town. It brings people into the town. Many people associate Casabar now as the place with the ice rink. Uh, Deputy Mayor and former uh, Cahirlock Mayo County Council. Uh, the council goes very involved, the local council here, councillors in the town to make this uh, happen the last couple of years. Absolutely, and I'm delighted uh, to be here in the, in the heart of Castlebar, the Mall, uh, the county town. Um, first of all, I want to wish everyone a happy Christmas and health and happiness for, for 2020, and especially uh, the people of this great county our diaspora and all the people that are in hospital. As Michael has already said, he's pointed out, uh, this is fantastic. Um, we had over 20,000 people here uh, last year and we hope uh, to bring over 30,000 people uh, to Castle Bar in County Mayo uh, for people here, Mayo and Ice, for skating here in the, in the heart of Castle. As you already pointed out, Henry, I mean, if you, if you travel around here at night time, the way the mile, is lit up here in, in Castle Bar. It's, the mall is the lungs of the county town and we're delighted uh, to have put this lighting scheme in over the last couple of years here in Castle Bar. It's fantastic for Castle Bar. There's no question about it. And the money that was spent here uh, in Castle Bar, is, is, we're getting the value of it back now. And it's great for the town. It's great for visitors that are coming to the town. And it's lovely to see the mall lit up. Indeed, a lot of uh, work has gone into setting up this. They've been weeks setting it up, Henry, and they'll be weeks again taking it down. Uh, and the mall will be restored to its former glory after the, the ice rink moves on. But it's really great for the town, it, the, it, the amount of people it brings into town. I can tell you that uh, I know the takeaways and all of them uh, establishments, they really benefit from this because after you're an hour out there on, on, on ice, You'd soon go for your burger and chips. But it's, it's really good and, and we're delighted to be part of it. And we hope that next year it will be bigger and better. And even the local ice hockey team, the Castlebar Bulls, actually will be training here. And, which is, and that's great as well. Finally, I believe you're going to be Daredevils this evening. You're going to take a, a ride on the altitude. Absolutely. I have invited uh, the mayor and, and uh, myself and yourself, Henry. Uh, it's called the altitude and it's 130 feet high and we're going to have a go at it now in a few minutes myself and the car here look good i hope you haven't uh, had your dinner yet uh <laughs> no i won't have the burger and chips until after that that's for sure but uh i'm looking forward to it i was uh, looking at it there as it was coming in here and do you know i got nervous looking at the guys that were up there but i said sure i might as well join them it's not as nervous as having to go up for election <laughs> okay well let's go and try it out okay let's go we'll do that We're going to leave you now as we take a ride on the altitude. Now, just a reminder that Mayo on Ice will be in Casabar until the 5th of January. So you still have time to come and enjoy this fabulous winter wonderland. Mm -hmm.